Hi guys, I'm my friend from iPhone Service Ghana. Uh, so today we're about to be preparing an iPhone 8. Customer brought to me. I don't know what happened to the phone, but he says it doesn't have backlight. He can't access anything, but phone works fine. If you call the number, phone rings. You touch the side button. You see vibration works. And the last thing I did was I tried to take a look under the microscope, and yeah. I saw an image like phone has an image you could see yeah it's working right now but there is no backlight all right but a customer needs his data he needs his contacts his pictures the most important stuff on the phone all right, so i think you should try to fix this phone like it's very important to the customer all right so let's do it I think other technicians try to check the phone. It doesn't even have the lower screwdrivers. We need that. Yeah, you see, the phone is ringing. Like there is a call. Let's see. Let's take apart the motherboard. Let's take a look at it. I'm very new to this um, video thing, guys. Forgive me for any offense that I make, any mistakes. I'm sorry, I'm just trying. <laughs> Someday I'll be better. Alright, so let me take this one apart real quick. Very fast. It shouldn't take much, much time. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> this is so bad inside the phone. So now the motherboard is out. Come take a closer look. This is the motherboard of my phone 8 with no backlight. This is the motherboard. So let's take a closer look at what we see on the motherboard here from the microscope view. All right, so this is the connector. All right, so screen connects at this side battery connects at this side charging port and um, network connection and home button connection so if this phone doesn't have a backlight there is probably the problem is from this side like a screen connector this is where the problem is supposed to be all right so there is a software that i use to take diode measurement of this connector and that software is Wuzingi network, like Wuzingi, that's what we call it. So, without saying much, let me take a closer look at the back of the phone too, like the back of the motherboard. And this is the back of the motherboard. This is the back of the motherboard. I think this phone has been repaired by other technicians, because I could see some flags over here. This chip has been changed and there's a whole lot. This place looks very messy. This coil you see here, this IC you see here, it's responsible for bringing light to the screen so that you can 
see everything on the phone like making the phone screen visible and this chip you see here also um it's called chestnut it's responsible for bringing an image to the screen like the pictures we see everything you see on the screen this is responsible for it but without this guy this guy is just worthless because this guy brings the image and this guy lights the image up so you can see it it's like this guy is a torchlight he brights the image this guy brings so you can see what you monitor on the screen all right i can't do anything i can't repair this phone i can't proceed to repair this phone without taking diet mode measurements with the uzingi software so before i do anything i need to get internet connection and um, i need to connect um, internet and just access the uzingi all right so this is the uzingi software this is uzingi software all right let me get internet connection on my computer first all right all right all right so i'm trying to connect currently i don't have the vodafone board money anymore because vodafone is refusing to come fix my internet so all i have to do right now is just hotspot from my phone and that's what i'm doing right now i'm sorry forgive me <clears throat> all right so most spot on iPhones is just all right oh damn why bro like okay I can just connect also With connections like this all right I have internet connection so let me launch using the software Right, this is using software all right this is using software and before we do anything let me remind you guys i don't know if you all have knowledge about iphones but um iphone motherboards ranging from iphone 7 upwards have two types of motherboards like we have the intel version and we have the qualcomm version like they are same motherboard they are same phone I don't know why Apple chose to separate the motherboards, letting others be Intel and others also be Qualcomm. So let me check if this is Intel or Qualcomm. And this is how I check it. From the microscope view, this is the motherboard. And peeling this side, peeling this sticker off, All right, mm. my blade is just messing up. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is Qualcomm. This motherboard, this variant is Qualcomm. Like this motherboard is Qualcomm variant of the iPhone 8. Okay, so we needed that because Wuzingi software is going to ask us every time we launch Every time we try to work on the motherboard, or we'll ask you, are you working on the Intel version of the motherboard or the Qualcomm version of the motherboard? So it's up to you, the user, to choose. And choosing is very choosing is very important because the motherboards are very different from each other. They are not quite similar. I don't know, and this is how MTN is also paying us back, bro. Uzingi is not responding as it should be internet is just worse here in my house all right 